it. And I think that the feminine started seeing that, you know, really love is the vibration. And that's how many of you feel comfortable. You just love your masculines. And this love that you feel is very pure. It's very divine. But what happens is it gets so distorted because of other people's chatter and their opinions and the programming around this, right? <laughs> Hey guys, what's going on? It's Twintuitive717. I'm back with another video. I hope everybody is doing well. You know, right now the masculines are really feeling it and do need some TLC. And it kind of reminds me of, you know, my connection to my cats. You know, a lot of you are very familiar with Mega. I've shared a little bit of Ariel. And they were both a Adopted. And the thing about animals when you adopt them is that you don't really know where they're coming from or what kind of situations they've been in previous to that. So when I did get my two cats, they were very anxious, very scared, very shy. They hid a lot. And it was a very slow process getting them to open up. But at the same time, for me, it was a no-brainer. It was a very nurturing experience. I love animals. I'm a big love bug at heart. So many of you feminines can find yourself in that position. You're completely just attracted to the act of warming the environments around you and creating very beautiful atmospheres for others to experience in your presence. And so... You know, with that being said, I just wanted the feminines to be reminded. I mean, not that our divine masculines are an anxious cat or anything like that. It's just that at this time, it kind of just like feels like that. It, it just feels like you're recalling a lot, of, a lot of life and the experiences that you've had. You know, right now he knows that his safe place is the feminine. And he's just asking her to have that same level of patience with him that you would show compassion towards someone else that you know, you know has experienced a lot throughout their lives. And I'm not saying that the feminine has not. I'm just saying that, you know, back when the feminine had her experience, she was forced to go through the whole shebang on her own without the masculine by her side. And this was to remind her of her ability to give birth to be the sense of flow and creativity in this world and that the masculine cannot exist without the feminine's energy. And this has given her a lot of strength, so much strength to the point that she can see what's going on and what's happening in his life. And, you know, there is no judgment on her part. She's staying the course with him and not doing the whole I told you so and abandoning someone when... You know, it's their turn to show vulnerability. Just focus here. So, yeah, like, death card comes out. Putting, like, a, a death to old behavior where you would come together in communication and then if the masculine's not reaching out or giving the type of communication that you want, you were quick to ghost him or block him. But the feminine staying steady and putting a death to this way of communicating because it would just... The cycles were endless, you know, they were really tiring and it was draining her and taking away from, you know, a lot of her youth, her self-care. And, and I think that the feminine started seeing that, you know, really love is the vibration and that's how many of you feel comfortable. You just love your masculines and this love that you feel is very pure, it's very divine but what happens is it gets so distorted because of other people's chatter and their opinions and the programming around this, right? When we go on YouTube sometimes and like we'll hear readings, we'll hear people bashing the masculines, calling them narcissists, you know, doing all of these negative things that are just geared towards putting toxins and the masculine collective is programmed to already be toxic. So you can see how when as women we're trying to communicate, we're also emanating masculine energy and trying to compete with our masculines, trying to bring things to a completion by making the communication an outcome in the way that we expect. 
So, you know, try to tune out of everybody else's experience and really flow. When you start seeing this understanding, it's easier to have like that acceptance for someone. I love these cards too because the mandalas are just so beautiful. Like it reminds me of like our consciousness like churning and like opening up and giving birth to new ideas after the death of old ones. I just think they're gorgeous. I mainly wanted to send the masculine some love and some compassion at this time because yeah many of you feminines are feeling it. You love them, you care for them and even if they're not responsive right now they're nowhere to be found, they're silent. I can energetically feel from the masculine energy that they are very much aware of what's going on. They cannot let this connection go and it is making them feel vulnerable and they they just want to know that you feel the same way and it's just very human of them right now but they're they're unlearning a lot of things in order to take the presence of the true divine masculine so that they can enjoy the rewards of being physical with you. He does go to that place again of sensuality when he wants to connect with her. It's like his safe, his safe place, you know. And that sometimes <laughs> that's why a lot of you will ask like, why do I see his name everywhere? Why do I feel him touching me? Why do I think of him? Why am I dreaming of him? We put a lot of emphasis into our thoughts and there are visions and it's very repetitive, which is what he's doing right now with the feminine. It will manifest into your reality because that's just how energy works. That's why you two are twin flames. You attracted because the both of your vibration equally pulled you together. Let's get to with my breath too. I'm like, <gasps> okay. So there's our hanged man, of course. He's in that mode of contemplating, unlearning things, thinking about the past, kicking himself in the butt, wondering if you will forgive him. Deep down, he knows and he's aware of how this works. You guys come back together. But there's still that level of disappointment that they feel within themselves. But they're learning to like move past that stuff very quickly now at this point. You know, it's like, it kind of like hurts when they do reflect with the Seven of Swords coming up there. You know, very heavy in their thoughts about the past. But with the Seven also coming in with the numerology there, Seven is confidence, right? It's persevering. It's moving forward because you've connected with your truth in your quiet time and you see what is repetitive in your world. You know, the Three of Cups lets you know what you desire and it's okay to feel and want love it's okay to go to that place and see the feminine for who she is and learn to heal the cuts that other people have made so that you don't go bleeding all over this connection it's not what they want to do either feminine i mean they want to love you they want to show you how they feel about you through connecting with you sexually but it's like there's just so much more that they need to unload and get rid of before they can feel safe to go to that place. Otherwise, you know, some of you, if your masculines are having like a hard time, the sexual energy that you feel is very raw, like it's very like animalistic. But, you know, like I said in my last reading, the thoughts that he's having, you know, they're very passionate and sensual and fiery because with our knight of wands coming in he he wants to show the feminine how passionate he feels for her and how he's always felt for her and with the horse I feel that after all of this separation is complete he will charge in with a lot of new communication, a lot of authentic communication, especially with like the wheat there too. Like it just reminds me of bread. <laughs> so it's like that fresh feeling of like comfort mixed in with a lot of sensuality, maturity. It's like the kind of love that you always saw the twin flame journey as being able to give to you as this beautiful gift when you first met your twin or when you first started having a lot of these spiritual experiences 
I feel a wave of all of you just moving back into this energy as well as just a great reward for your patience with the masculines on this energy. And I think that he is just feeling really grateful and thankful and hoping that you are nowhere near letting go. He's fearful. I mean, he will come to the realization that the connection is, you know, very bonded on a spiritual level. But yeah, with, with the swords in there, he's definitely in his thoughts, going back and forth from the love he feels in the past and how this has all unfolded. Anyways, guys, that's what I've got for you for today. I hope you all are staying safe. Thank you so much for hanging in there with me on this channel, and I'm sending you guys so much love. Take care, and I'll catch you in the next video.